being a woman in the media, especially political media, which I'm sure you understand, there's such a triple standard. It's not even double. It's like what we're wearing right now, there will be comments on Politico's site about what we're wearing and how we look and which one of us they think is hotter and what's going to happen. And it's like at some point I would like our culture to get past that and start treating women in politics like men in politics. I fear how far away we are from that. You know, I just wish more women did what we do. I just wish people weren't as scared, but I get it because I feel like you compromise so much in so many different ways. When I go out on a first date with a guy, you know, most of the time they've Googled me and there's a lot of crazy stuff written about me on the internet. Not necessarily probably if my brother were using this platform. Are um, we going to see a second Senator McCain anytime soon? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. No politics for me and McCain. No, I just think it's so, again, it's so tricky for women and I'm, I'm still so, I feel I'm young for politics and um, I, I love I really love it when women get involved. I just don't know if I could ultimately do it because I know what the sacrifice you make. Mm -hmm. and I know what the families of politicians, the sacrifices they but make. But are you so. ruling it out completely? I mean, I never say never to anything in the world <laughs> ever, but probably really hi highly, highly unlikely. Who's a woman politician, not Hillary Clinton, that you admire? Oh my gosh, Kelly Ayotte, senator from New Hampshire. Wow. Love her. She does what my dad used to do growing up. Her husband stays, at, except reverse. She, her husband stays at home in New Hampshire while she goes to the Senate and works. And it never even occurred to me that that was a possibility, as terrible as that is. And it's like the first woman I have ever talked to that I was like, wow, this is a real, this is like, this is feminism. This is like a strong Republican woman mother who is going to work to try and, you know, her version of saving the country while her husband takes care of her kids at home. Do Republicans have a problem with women? No, I don't think Republicans have a problem with women, but I think our messaging needs a lot of needs a lot of molding. But I do think we have a messaging problem with more than just women, and you know, I feel like my life's purpose is to try and reform that. Um, but I just, I really want us to start winning elections, and really want to see a Republican president in my adult life at some point. And I, I just feel like until we start start really, you know, rebranding this party, we're going to have a lot of trouble with that.